Hi friends, today we're going to talk about Alfred Nobel. Alfred Nobel was born in Stockholm, Sweden in 21st, 21st of October 8, 1833. Okay, and he grew up into a curious and a intelligent kid, but he had to miss school due to sickness and poverty because his father went bankrupt two times in his lifetime okay and due to this his family had to move to russia for better opportunities okay and his father's business for providing war equipment for the russian army he settled where they slowly okay and and their business was going like this going up okay and and Alfred wasn't satisfied with the work in the factories. And he always thought and why people needed war. Okay. And when and he got it depressed. But when but when he started to write poetry in his teens, he he began to be get happy. Okay, and and do you know that? His father was satisfied with it and sent the young man Alfred Nobel to to Paris, okay, in France, to become a chemical engineer. Okay. There he met an an Italian young chemist known as Ascanio Sobrero. Okay, and he had invented a highly explosive known as the Netrokisling. Okay, and and Alfred Nobel thought that how it would be used in construction work. And he also thought and how it could be turned into a soft base that could be also used safely. And after years of experiments, he managed to make, make this liquid into a soft paste. Okay, and this... And this was a very big contribution, contribution, okay, in const, in construction industry, okay, because it made taking down buildings very easy, okay, and despite being a very large hurdles and her some hurdles, the Alfred Nobel became a philanthropist and a successful businessman, okay. And and when he was writing his will, he became depressed. What will happen if he died? And do you know why? Because he didn't have any family or have never gotten married. Okay. And do you know that? He also was depressed that, that his infinite explosive could take many lives. Okay. And he thought that how I could make the world take the world to peace and and he was very inspired with her good friend Partha Van Sutner who had written the book Lay Down Your Arms okay and and he she was very very active in peace movement so Alfred Nobel decided to spend his most of the money to give prizes to those who have done a lot in in physics, chemistry, medicine, peace. Okay. And he given us an excel, excellent tradition of celebrating the contribution of people who made the world better and a peaceful place to live. Okay. And this is me, Hoyang. And... And if you want to know some other topics, you can tell us in the description, in the comment section below. Okay, thank you.